Well, we've heard some very creative talks and controversial talks so far, but we're now going to get into a really controversial area, which is the multi-layer uh, stent. And uh, to lead off on that, uh, we, we've asked uh, uh, Dr. Vasek from France to give us a talk on endovascular thoracoabdominal aneurysm repair using the multi-layer flow modulating uh, stent. Thank you very much, Frank. Um, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how can I move this thing? Okay. I have nothing to disclose. Um, spinal cord ischemia with paraplegia, which is a wrong term because uh, it implies uh, postural and sphincteral problem, is a true catastrophe, and all the patients who suffered who presented with this complication after whatever treatment for thoracoabdominal aneurysm, who would consistently say, if I had known, I would never have undergone this uh, humiliating complication. And this occurs anything between 5 to 10 percent in the recent literature. And this, uh, in the fenestrated and branch prosthesis, it has been recently reported to occur in 11 percent. Uh, three years ago in Morocco, we launched a monocentric prospective study uh, including seven patients, and uh, the one-year follow-up, we had 85% uh, of our thoracoabdominal patients cured. Cured means that the patient is alive and well. Um, the aneurysm is thrombosed and shrunk, and all the branches are patent using the uh, multi-layer stent. Um, like this uh, gentleman, who was extensively covered and who was um, uh, shrunk and thrombosed at uh, one month and uh, at six months. Um, two years ago, we launched in France, uh, granted by the French government, a multi-center prospective study uh, in uh, nine different centers, including 22 patients that were denied to any other treatment. They were, these patients were too sick, and uh, they were um, extended aneurysms. They were also branched aneurysms. And uh, we are also only allowed to um, disclose today the six-month result uh, after the official presentation to our French government agency on October the 17th um, with the original CD. Our core lab is the French government by law. So at six months, 40% of our patients are treated using the definition I used uh, earlier. All the aneurysms are partially uh, or totally resolved. The branch patency at 95%. We had three type 1 under leaks, uh, and it was um, a rather short procedure. We are, have been, of course, added, uh, interested in the uh, what went wrong. We had one death from a documented uh, pulmonary infection to pneumococcus in Besançon, and we had four secondary procedures. Uh, this uh, gentleman died because he was not treated. There is a leak, and um, when we see the history, uh, uh, there was a progression of the TAA as after the initial procedure. Two multilayer stents have been added at the distal end at three months with one CVA. This patient on AFib uh, suffered uh, of another CVA a month later, and he, um, the larger stent was put uh, first and not last. That was the mistake. The second secondary procedure involved this gentleman who was extensively covered into two steps. Um, and uh, um, he came back with uh, hemorrhage, almost hemorrhage. Unfortunately, he came back alive because we could see that uh, he had um, uh, the knot of the prostar was not tied on either way. Uh, the um, um, multilayer stent worked perfectly, as you can see here. And um, this patient now is still well and alive. The third secondary procedure uh, occurred in Toulouse where the, there was at three months a partial resolution at visceral artery level with a proximal leak. Uh, the device was inserted in a tight zone which immediately broadens and the stent is fully patent distally because there was an endoleak type one with no device migration where compared to vertebra. So what has been done was two stand grafts have been added at the proximal end at three months and the lips of clavian artery has been occluded at six months and at one year, this was a progressive disease, ascending out as 56 millimeter, untreated, 
and the descending aorta went down to 70 to 62 millimeter. This patient is treated. The full secondary procedure uh, was a thrombosis of the digestive artery at 15 days. Unfortunately, this patient who underwent a GI resection uh, didn't have anti-aggregal therapy. Uh, there is one secondary procedure that is uh, scheduled because uh, the largest tent has been put first and not last, which was a mistake. Of course, 40% of our patients uh, went well, this uh, at six months. Um, the uh, patient in, uh, uh, down in Lyon, uh, was, um, uh, the, the diameter was shrunk and uh, with a total exclusion at three months. This one uh, in Nancy, um, was, uh, was treated at two months with a complete aneurysm uh, thrombosis. Oh, this one we did on an 86 years old lady with uh, at six months the collateral branches are patent with a diameter reduction of 13.5% at uh, 12 months. So the limitations is that in non-randomized studies the sac thrombosis occurs secondarily. Uh, the results at six months are satisfactory for aneurysm shrinkage. Of course we need a longer follow-up. And uh, uh, we need to correct several things because the primary angioplasty of previously stenosis is branched and one month and and double anterior therapy are mandatory. What should not oversize the stents by more than 20%, overlapping imposes to implant the larger stent inside, and an early postoperatively CD, uh, CD scan is required to ensure proper device placement. But moreover, we did not observe any spinal cord ischemia, no paraplegia that is reported from 10 to 15%. Thank you very much.